I came into Magnolia on my way to a gig at the P.A. Smith Hotel in Navasota. Now, I've heard about Magnolia before, so this was my first time actually checking out this place. It's a small town of just a few thousand people, and it's located about 40 miles northwest of Houston. And it's named after all the magnolia trees that are there. So this small town is spread out over a pretty large area. So it's got a real small town feel to it. Really country feel. Kind of humble and laid back lifestyle. In some ways it's an escape from the city and folks who are looking to live here are looking to escape. But there is convenient access to stores. You can get to the woodlands pretty easy from here. And so, you know, they do have that uh, availability of shopping and all those things that they could find with a short drive away from this quiet town. Now the magnolia I'm showing here is known as Old Magnolia. It is from the 1850s and on. And this is different from the part that's called New Magnolia, which is a newer development that's along 1488. That is one that is closer to the woodlands. Overall this area is close to Lake Conroe, so I'm sure folks like going up to check out Lake Conroe. Now when you get to the old Magnolia area, they got a place called the Magnolia Stroll where you could do a little bit of walking around. And there's a couple uh, interesting places along there where you can find some live music. The first is Tressie's Southern Kitchen and the other one is Lone Pint Brewery. Now across from that area, you can find the historic Magnolia Depot. This is where you can see about the train history of the area, that historic train depot. It's looking pretty cool there, and it's got a blacksmith uh, building and a post office, old looking post office. So you could be reminded of the history area and the importance of that train route that served at one point. After stopping off in the old Magnolia area, I made my way up to Navasota to my gig at the P.A. Smith Hotel. This place wasn't too far away and it's pretty historic. I always think it's cool, the little main strip here in Navasota and the hotel sits in a little offshoot with a bunch of historic looking buildings. This was one of the first buildings of the town in the mid 1800s. And today you can find some food and some booze and some live music there on certain nights of the week. So I was happy to play there to a good little crowd. I like to find out about the weather through word of mouth. You know, if enough people are talking about it, then that means it's time to pay attention. They're like, oh boy, at the coffee shop, they were talking about the big freeze. Sounds like uh, I need to remember to let the faucet trip. So when I was living in Birmingham, Alabama, I was at a coffee shop, and they were talking about the tornado that was coming. So I was like, oh boy, I better worry about this tornado. And they were talking, if it comes, oh, we'll just go into that back room right there. But I was like, well, if it comes, I think I'd rather be in my apartment than being in a back room with a bunch of strangers at this coffee shop. So I went home, and you know, all the... Rain started pouring down right when I got home. Uh, and the rain fell down onto the window like a shower. Just I remember staring out in the darkness into the window of the rain. And it was a wild thing to see. And so that's what this is about. Darkness. In darkness, it's dark, it's getting so dark. Here in darkness, darkness, here in darkness, it's dark, getting so dark. Here in darkness. Now I'm posting all about my music and my musical experiences touring across Texas and the Texas music scene, so be sure to check out the tons of videos on my YouTube channel about that. Hit that subscribe and the bell button to stay tuned on my posts. Let me know in the comments what else I should check out. And thanks for your support.